So, far away, Lucas, what do you know about the Marvel hero Iron Fist? Um, I mean, I know he had a shit TV show. Yeah, fair. So far away, Lucas, as is often the case, would you like to let the lovely audience at home know what the topic of today's Wikipedia Weekends is? Yeah, we are talking about Iron Fist, and specifically, is it Danny Rand? Yes, Danny Rand, the immortal Iron Fist, and we'll be referring specifically to the Marvel 616 wiki page on Daniel Rand. And we'll start, as we often do at the beginning, with the biographical information of the hero, starting with real name, Daniel Thomas Danny Rand Kai. <laughs> so that Kai bit at the end kind of threw me off, but sure, whatever. Yeah. Um, current alias, the Iron Fist. Aliases, oh man, Luke, you have some bad names. Yeah. Daniel Thomas Rand. Okay, not very good. Danny Rand, still not strong, but uh, maybe they'll get better. <laughs> Young Dragon, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, okay. Cooper Payton, so to back down. So, so far, this grass has been going all over joint. Um, Kung Fu Killer, ooh. ooh. Hong Kong Fooey. Uh, <laughs> Daniel Kai, Slipper Boy, Daredevil and Spider Man. So, I guess he must have dressed up as them. Man! Daniel Rand, like, you'd think the guy who's ba like, basically a pastiche of 80s kung fu tropes would have cooler nicknames. Yeah, than Slipper Boy. Slipper Boy. I guess he does wear the kung fu slippers, but... Letting us down, Danny Rand. I'm not impressed so far, I'll be honest. Editorial names, The Immortal Iron Fist, Iron Fist, The Living Weapon. Which is stronger, but still yeah, not... They like, definitely they're, are. they're not approaching anything like in the Black Panther one that we did. And we have relatives, um, <laughs> Wendell Randkai, his father... Um, Heather Duncan Rand, um, a.k.a. Silver Dragon, his mother deceased. Oh, go ahead. Um, Miranda Randkai, a.k.a. Death Sting. What? Half-sister. Dead. Oh, no, she's still alive. So, wait, so his dad... Uh, did you know that his sister was called Death Sting? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, that um, his adopted paternal grandfather was Lord Tuan. And then Lady Ming, UT, and then Danielle Cage, who's his goddaughter. The daughter... Of Luke Cage. And do you really need to have a goddaughter like to protect and watch over a child when the dad is a bulletproof giant black man who can <laughs> bench a city bus, but whatever. Anyway, we'll move on. We have affiliations. Um, the Defenders in Manhattan, uh, 616. He's the partner of Luke Cage in the Heroes for Hire business. He is the CEO of Rand Corporation. Um, he is a member of Immortal Weapons. Oh, band name's coming back. <laughs> I'm not bad. Um, the Midnight Suns, ooh, Defenders ooh. Heroes for Hire, um, New Avengers, the Thunderbolts, the Heroes for Hire again as part of Oracle Inc., the Secret Avengers um, as Daredevil, apparently, so he's disguised as Daredevil, he went to one of his meetings, um, <laughs> Defenders for a Day, Future Iron Man's team, and then there's another team called The Mighty. And then we have here his base of operations, which is now what I'm going to refer to my bedroom exclusively, the Thunder Dojo. <laughs> That's, that, that's the new name for my bedroom, ladies. And then we have identity, public identity, citizenship, American and Kunlun, uh, marital status, ah, single. You need to get more ladies to the Thunder Dojo, Danny. Um, <laughs> occupation, um, adventurer, co-owner of Rand Meacham Incorporated, dojo instructor, thunderer of Kunlun, former bodyguard, <laughs> private investigator, research assistant, warrior, which I didn't even know he could list as a job, um, and then mental <laughs> hospital patient. I don't think that's a job, but I think that's just something <laughs> he did for a while. And then yeah. e education, high school equivalent of Kunluna. So I'm guessing he went to high school in Kunlun. Yeah, it sounds like it. And then characteristics, male, 5'11", 175 pounds, blue eyes, uh, blonde hair, unusual features, heart of a dragon insignia on his chest that resembled a dragon. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's unusual. And then we have Origins, um, a human who defeated... And do you remember the name of the creature he defeated, Lucas? Uh, no, I don't. Shao Lao, the Undying, and gained the power. Who is a giant um, dragon who he killed, despite it being called Shao Lao, the Undying. And then he punched his heart, which is made of molten iron-like substance, which imbued him with the chi of the dragon, aka the Iron Fist. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Uh, is there anything more disappointing in that TV show than the fact that Iron Fist never gets the double Iron Fists? Yeah, he's exclusively just using one glowy hand. Yeah, like they even have that like, old archive footage of a previous Iron Fist who's using them both. Yeah. And he's using them all the time. And it's like, why doesn't he have the ability to do that? I thought he was the best one. I thought he was the best <laughs> Iron Fist and he sucks. 
And the next section is history, which we'll just cover a little bit so we all have like, you know, the same level of knowledge about where Daniel Rand came from. We have a quote from the man himself here. I am the Iron Fist. I hold back the storm where nothing else can. Unless he's being played by Finn Jones. <laughs> At which point he is Iron Fist, a terrible martial artist. <laughs> That's what made that so disappointing oh. for me. Like... They had, like, the Daredevil TV show has got some of the best martial arts choreography seen yep. in live-action TV. And then you've got Iron Fist, he's got, like, 50, 60 cuts on a one-on-one -on -one fight scene in a dark office where you can't see anything. Yeah. And it's so bad, and Iron Fist is, like, the master of all martial arts. You've got Daredevil, a blind lawyer, doing endless backflip kicks in a hallway, just kicking the shit out of bikers with chains wrapped around his fists. It's like... <laughs> Daredevil has more claim to the title of Iron Fist in the live-action TV universe. He punches people with steel chains wrapped around his fists. Yeah. Anyway, early life, Daniel Rand was the son of businessman Wendell Rand, who had once lived in the fabled city of Kunlun, which exists in another dimension. What? Yeah, whatever. Let's move on. Wendell Rand, as he was known there, was the adopted son and heir of Lord Tuan, who ruled Kunlun in the guise of UT. I'm already bored. <laughs> let's, let's just cut to the chase Daniel Rand was in a plane crash and then was adopted by monks in Kunlun and learned to become the Iron Fist and then he beat up a dragon and then because we need to move on to what's always the best part of Wiki Weekend when we talk about Marvel characters and that is powers and abilities and Lucas what do you know about Daniel Rand the Iron Fist before we get to this part um, I know that he's really cool in like Marvel vs Capcom 3 where he's oh, just yeah. blues Bruce Lee screaming at everyone with glowing did, fists. Did you ever see that um, someone put Captain Falcon voice clips over him? In oh, that game? oh, that's so, so cool. They've got, so there's Captain Falcon voice clips over Iron Fist in Ultimate Marvel. And like when he's doing like the one inch punch, he's like, the Falcon punch! Oh, so good. <laughs> I love it. It starts with the power grid. If people don't know, it's so scale of one to seven. One being normal, seven being nigh omnipotent godlike. Uh, intelligence, a three. Strength, a two. So slightly above average for a human. Speed or two, so slightly above average for a human. Which is a little lower than I would have expected, so I guess we'll get to why that is in the moment. And we have durability, a three. Energy projection, a three. Which makes sense, he punches things. And mm. then fighting skills, a six. So that's basically as good as it gets without being a god or Wolverine. No, no, that's unacceptable. He's not as good as fighting as Wolverine. No. No, I'm not having it, Carl. Well, we guess we'll find out, won't we? So, yeah. The one Powers. thing he's known for is fighting. Shut up, Lucas. He beat a dragon. It's fine. So, powers. She enhanced physiology. So, Danny Rand possesses the power to harness the mystical spiritual energy of Chi. Um, as a result of having defeated Shao Lao the Undying in hand-to-hand -hand <laughs> -hand combat. How would you beat a dragon in hand-to-hand -hand combat? <laughs> he um, did after, it. He after he plunged his fist into the dragon's molten heart, absorbing its Chi... Rand gained the power of the Iron Fist, allowing him to focus his chi and enhance his natural ability to extraordinary levels, thus branding himself with a dragon mark. Each Iron Fist throughout history has utilised the chi of Shao Lao in different ways. Danny Rand has learned new techniques and new depths to his own abilities over time, from studying from his predecessors, as well as reading the book of the Iron Fist. So he read the guide. Yeah. There's a, there's a guide to being an Iron Fist, I love it, so... The first part is Chi Augmentation. Through concentration, Rand can harness his spiritual energy, or Chi, to enhance his physical and mental capabilities to enhance levels. He initially could augment his physical prowess to non-superhuman levels of the finest possible human specimen. However, after further study with the Book of the Iron Fist, he has reached truly superhuman levels of physical enhancement. It was stated his sense of self has grown 10,000-fold, and he now possesses infinite depth. What? <laughs> He no longer tires from using his chi and is capable of using his powers for greater tasks, such as destroying a train with the Iron Fist Punch as it collided with his attack at full speed. Um, so he's just running around punching trains. Punching trains, yeah. He also detoxified himself after unwittingly ingesting poison with chi. So he just he sat he sat down and meditated and cured poisoning. I mean, I just want to go back to the fact that he basically did like a Goku and Gohan in the hyperbolic time chamber and just increase his own power ten thousand fold. He just learned how to constantly be in Super Saiyan form. Basically, yeah. And the next section is the Iron Fist Punch, probably the most famous power of Iron Fist. By summoning his chi and focusing it into his hand, Danny can draw upon the superhuman energy derived from the heart of the mystic serpent Shao Lao and make his fist inhumanly powerful. 
<laughs> just his fist. Just the yeah. fist. That's what cracks me up. Um, this iron fist technique does not involve a physical transformation of any kind. It is simply a physical channeling of concentrated natural energy. With his fist in this state, Rand can shatter wood and brick, rip through steel, and punch his opponents with extraordinary concussive force. The force of this technique has rendered it incredibly durable superhumans, such as Colossus, unconscious, shattered Scorpion's tail, destroyed Thunderball's ball and chain, as well as punched through Chi Lin, who was barely affected by punches to the head from Luke Cage. Fucking hell. His fist is strong enough to bring down a helicarrier with one strike. <laughs> <laughs> what? How is he punching helicarriers out of the air? Yeah, why has he tested this out? He has also destroyed a nuclear train with one punch. Oh my god. He punched a helicarrier out of the air, Lucas. What yeah, do do? I don't know how. Uh, peak human strength. Typically, Iron Fist possesses uh, the pinnacle of physical strength for a human man, his particular age, height, and build. That in- in- engages in intense regular exercise he possesses the peak level of strength a human can reach without being considered superhuman so similar to captain america and characters like that uh, with yeah. use of his spiritual energy iron fist is capable of augmenting his strength to incredible superhuman levels the limits of which are unknown holy um, shit although he has been known to um, stand toe to toe with a being who easily manhandled luke cage and bring down and break the foot of a monster hundreds of feet tall with one strike. Wait, what? <laughs> he punched the foot off a Godzilla monster, Lucas. <laughs> he punched its foot off. Like he just he encounters kaijus and goes straight for the ankles. He's got that classic ankle punching tech. I respect it. He does. Um, chi enhanced speed. Iron Fist is capable of running and moving at great speeds, as naturally fast as a human can without being considered superhuman. Without the use of chi, he can run up to 35 miles an hour. Fucking hell. With his chi, he was able to augment um, himself to superhuman levels. And he was able to hit a large monster over 100 feet tall nearly 100 times in the span of a few seconds. <laughs> so he did the Ken Shiro. Like, da, 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 and just like, yeah. punched it a thousand times. Oh, God. I'm trying to scroll down, but I can't see anything. Because, like, it's done that thing when you're on your phone. And each new section gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So it's like one letter for each line. So I'm going oh, to no. like, I'm gonna have to try and fix that right now. Do it live. Request desktop site. I'm sorry. Oh, this looks terrible. <laughs> Why would I use the, like, Desktop site always looks so shit on your phone. How many okay. auto-playing ads are you getting right now, Carl? Uh, about 50. My phone's dying. Oh, God, no. So I don't... Like, do you know when you get auto-playing ads on your phone? You think, I've never seen an iPhone get like the electrical equivalent of cancer before. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, God. So there we go. So we can move on. So Chi Enhanced Reflexes. Iron Fist's reaction time is enhanced to the point where he's considered superhuman. His reflexes are so efficient that he can dodge point-blank gunfire, catch arrows in mid-flight, and has been capable of snatching and tagging bullets out of the air. <laughs> Why do you need to say he can catch arrows if you can also catch bullets? Why? Yeah, I always find that weird. Like, he can dodge bullets and catch them, but also he can catch arrows. So, energy absorption. At times, Rand has absorbed energy directed at himself and channeled it to augment his own power. That's got to be <laughs> rough, hasn't it? Yeah. Like you shoot him with a beam of energy and he absorbs it and then it's, oh no, now he can punch me, my legs off even harder. <laughs> um, his entire body is orientated to combat, allowing him to adapt to any environment with minimal exposure. So he can walk around in the snow and stuff naked. Uh, yeah. He has cheat enhanced sensors. Um, Danny's awareness has increased to new levels, though to what level is unclear. His sensors are so great, he can hear sweat running down the cheek of a person in another room. What? Why would you want that? Uh, he can even, with his back turned, sense when someone is about to strike him. Empathy. Rand has the ability to sense and read the emotions, feelings, and intentions of people and animals. So he can read animals' minds. He also has the ability to influence the minds of people and or animals. So he can control like, animals, Lucas. Does he have just empathy? Like, yeah. He's able to empath- empathetically link with animals and like, you know, make them calm or like, do his bidding. Okay, because I was like, is empathy a superpower now? <laughs> I guess it is. It's certainly rare, that's, that's for sure. So we have a chi-enhanced healing. If he sustains an injury or illness, Iron Fist can focus his chi for the purpose of healing. On the brink of death, after a battle with Radion the Atomic Man, Daniel received a vision of UT revealing that the Iron Fist is not a weapon, but a force of will, which can perform miracles, including healing. So he's basically a Jedi. <laughs> yeah. By focusing enough energy, he can even purge his own body of poison. Recently, he has proven capable of healing self um, when he's almost unconscious, 
and does not feel drained in doing so. He can also challenge his energy into other people. Um, under certain circumstances, his chi can also be focused to create nexus points between dimensions, meaning the, the iron fist can punch through dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, oh, imagine, cool. imagine fighting somebody and you're like really far away. It's like, you'll never get me. I'm all the way over here and a portal opens up behind you and the iron fist comes through it. <laughs> chi manipulation. The iron fist grants Danny with many abilities he had not yet mastered, such as channeling his chi into ranged attacks to increase his striking capability as concussive blasts. So hit. He can do hits thing of punching so fast it launches out like air bolts. Ah, uh, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> it says it master martial artist. So this is the section you were most curious about, Lucas, wasn't it? How is he not a seven car? So let's go. So Rand is a so master of Kunlun martial arts. It says there's all citation needed. He's the Iron Fish. You don't need citation. <laughs> like surely it's implied anyway. Um, and he's proficient in many of Earth's martial arts, including but not limited to um, Shaolin, Quan, um, Fujian, White Crane, Judo, Aikido, Wing Chun, Muay Thai, uh, Ninjutsu, Karate, Boxing, and even loose street fighting tactics. Recently he has gained access to the knowledge, experience, and skills of all Iron Fists before him. When temporarily blinded by Sabretooth, he was able to defeat the Lethal Mutant, even without his Chi powers. Uh, he is also skilled in unique Chi-based techniques, such as the Drunken Style, that masks him from such thing <laughs> as Spider-Man's Spider-Sense and Mr. X's telepathic reflexes. No. Making him the only person I'm aware of in Marvel canon who can get past Spider-Man's Spider-Sense. Except for like Venom, who's specifically designed to do that. Oh my god. So he could just like get drunk and go through Spidey sense. Yeah, so the Iron Fist is trained to be a living weapon, making them one of the best martial artists in the world, having held his own against Wolverine as well as Captain America. He's also fought Sabretooth, Black Dragon, Black Panther, Nightshade, Spider-Man, Daredevil, Colossus and Nightcrawler. I'm presuming all at the same time. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was all at the same time? How scary that would be, Lucas. Oh, he also possesses um, infinite ways to kill a man. Such as the Black Black Poison Touch, that's its actual name, which uses his chi to immediately kill anyone in close, um, close vicinity. Holy shit! So I like the way that he's super strong, he also possesses, and I quote, infinite ways to kill a man. He's just got a death touch. Um, he has, yeah, so he can do the touch of death. Like, touch of death, man, he owns it. So nervous system control. Rand has a almost complete control of his nervous system, enabling him to deaden himself to pain. He can also resist the effects of drugs or poisons and slow down the rate at which he bleeds. Fuck me. Uh, sure. Uh, he's also multilingual. He's fluent in Kunlun, English, Chinese, and has limited vocabulary in Japanese. Iron Fist likes to tell people that he was selected by Rolling Stones in their list of hottest Avengers. He often omits the fact that he was number 77. <laughs> <laughs> so in universe, a magazine's like, oh, these are the hottest Avengers. And he's like, yep, yeah, it's me. He don't tell me his number, like, he doesn't say he's number 77. I'm in that list. Uh, it says here oh, that the God. idea of an alien costume that would become Spider-Man's famous black suit and later his enemy Venom was originally conceived by Iron Fist penciler John Byrne for Danny Rand. Byrne intended to introduce the concept of a self-healing alien suit because of how often Iron Fist costume was damaged in battle. And he didn't <laughs> particularly envision Danny as the type of character who would sit down and sew up his costume. <laughs> the idea was later repurposed for Spider-Man. <laughs> so Iron Fist was originally going to have the Venom suit. That'd be terrifying. Oh, God. Can you imagine that would be. Venom being able to punch through portals? <laughs> what would you do? I'm just so amazed that Danny Rand have got infinite ways to kill a man. You don't really need to say that when the, the previous week, there's like footage on the news of you punching a helicarrier out of orbit. <laughs> so I, I don't think you need infinite ways to kill a man you just punch him once that's it yeah. done god I love comics it's so dumb <laughs>